Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon and uh, Libra Rising. Weekly tarot reading July 8th to July uh, 14th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we will jump straight away uh, into the spread. Alright, so the first card that regards Libra's topic for the week, this is going to be uh, the Ace of Cups, followed by the second card, which stands for the challenges that Libra needs to overcome. This is going to be the Hermit, and we're getting into a seriously deep waters here, guys. Um, okay, so this, the third card, which stands for the topic, for the um, positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the two of cups and the last one which stands here for the guidance the tarot is offering to you that is going to be the four of uh, cups oh, wow um i want to start singing you know love is in the air da, 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 but it's it's pretty much this is what the um this reading is pointing out of course uh as we all know uh or these who are following me you know that i'm sticking to general interpretations meaning that i will also try to cover up career but i it's uh it's hard to get any better than that guys when it comes to a love unfoldment and uh serious breakthrough when it comes to love and personal life and it doesn't matter if you are in a relationship or not right now it's just it has a lot for everybody okay from your side libra of course uh there is a way how you can screw that one up and in this reading i am also going to divulge on that information as well so i hope i do a good job of telling you how you can prevent not um how can i describe it how you can prevent not screwing this one up so let's go again through the cards here which is the ace of cups it is the topic followed by the the hermit here which is the um, challenges afterwards we do have the two of cups which stands for the positive aspect and in the last one here is going to be the four of cups which regards to the guidance so a uh, general topic we do have the ace of cups and the Ace of Cups stands for the um, new circumstances which are fulfilling your life with content and as well uh, tenderness, all right, to, to look forward to something. It's most likely, as we do have the Two of Cups on the positive position, a new love or these new circumstances could be the circumstances which will help you to develop your current relationship, to fix your current relationship, you know, or if your current relationship now is deprived from emotional flow or other like emotional um, sharing, or in other words, is deprived, for, is deprived from love, these new circumstances could re 
uh, resuscitate this flow of love into um, into your life. For example, you and your wife, or your your and your husband, no longer kind of like have that feeling of of love to one another. And suddenly, you know, your wife or your husband as just do something that reminds you how much they mean to you and this there you go you have your love pool sparking once again and etc etc and additionally to that you know the ace of cups as we said it's it regards to a new circumstances which are making your worries and then problems completely irrelevant because the future looks that it takes on a new turn toward that goal of yours so the what you have been afraid of up until this moment no longer exists all right that could also mean that your career is going to improve in a very rapid and significantly high manner as well the accompanied car here is going to be the wheel of fortune and uh, the formation it is a passive enemies so the wheel of fortune here points that you don't have to look anywhere else but toward this endeavor of yours which you are holding on to so much okay so uh, as a uh, passive enemies these cards are pointing that the happiness is within your grasp i mean it is already in in your field and it's just you are failing to to grasp it okay and you don't have to look into the contiguous uh, fields or farms or you name it all right it's just we have that expression into our country here saying that uh, just gaze upon your own platter or right? i do not gaze upon the platters of the others just gaze on upon your own platters you have everything in there to make yourself happy and it seems that this is going to be the week where you're going to rec realize that all right you are going to realize that you have everything that you need it's simply and these new circumstances are going to show you that that you don't have to look any longer because you already have it okay either your love you already have it either your um your career as well and etc etc so you can expect that this week is going to make you very very happy in in either of those fronts but i do suspect that we do have more uh, that this reading speaks more about a a, a love life <clears throat> okay so the next card it is a, about the challenges uh, that you that you need to overcome and the challenge is about the clamorous belief that that is your thing now the way that i see that uh, especially in love life okay that could be this uh, very difficult transition from a friendship zone into an intimate zone i mean you are you have a friend let's say that you are both so much into each other but you don't want to ruin that friendship because once you traverse into the uh, into the intimate zone if things didn't work out it doesn't work out you cannot be friends anymore so you both are afraid to make that uh, step or rather like you are both conscious cautious to make that step so this is because uh, everything is based on, uh, let's say, an, an emotional uh, emotional outlook. But here with the, with the Hermit, you would rather need to focus on what is substantial. What is more substantial for yourself? I'm, I'm following this example right now. Uh, is it more substantial for yourself to have a good friend? Or is it more substantial for you to try out and see if this is not the person who you, whom you're going to, whom, yeah, you're going to spend your life with, right? So you have to decide what is substantial here. And the decision is about taking on a, a new turn or on a, a new direction. It is kind of like Im implicating your wisdom uh, and your intelligence as well, recognizing that if you don't try, you are never going to be able to do something. So you got to try, all right? The accompanied and same thing goes in regards to uh, in regards to your career. But with this card here, these circumstances will offer you a new line of action. OK, and this actions needs to be taken, even though you may like lack here the um, the confidence to do it. The accompanied card that is to be the ten of swords, the formation. It is a passive enemies that we have. So um, we are talking about stubbornness here with the Ten of Swords to the um, 
to the hermit one more example that I can give you is let's say that we're talking about an ex of yours and now new circumstances arises that uh, you are seeing your ex in a, in a differ, different light for example you know but you're just stubborn stubborn to admit that and that's why you cannot do uh, much of it so you have to admit that sometimes it is either your fault or it is you do have a change of heart as well all right and etc etc what these cards here are pointing is that should you approach the situation wisely and with a great portion of wisdom here things doesn't have to end okay things can transcend into a uh, a, a more exhilarating meaningful as well and beneficial way either in regards to career and either in regards to relationship also so then we go to the positive aspect of the week and we do have the two of cups so the two of cups in this follow-up here generally speaks about love especially if we're talking about a um a personal relationships now um <clears throat> This card could signify the appearance of someone who resembles someone. What I'm trying to say is that let's say that you had a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend, it doesn't matter, and you lost them, okay, for one or another reason. And now someone very similar to them comes around and oh, this, these are the new circumstances you, you are waiting for and simply... you. You, it's very difficult for you to resist the urge and it's very difficult for them as well to hide their attraction also. So here um, with the two of cups you should not be shy but rather try to express what's what you feel and how you feel it and um, it's just show how happy you are to have that person next to you but also it could speak for uh, amplifying the love into one relationship as well but when it comes to career the card points that the environment into the career is going to peace out what i mean is that you will face no problems whatsoever from your uh, managers from your bosses as well from your co-workers and etc etc everybody actually is going to be eager to help to one another so the company and the business in general can move on forward the accompanied card is going to be the um, king of wands the formation it is a passive enemies once again so uh the the hell with the unexpected the the un uh, unrealistic expectations here so it seems that in a favor of uh, having a either good environment into your relationship or in a favor of, as well of having harmonious loving flow into um, excuse me in uh, peace into your career and having that love and harmony into your relationship the unrealistic expectations are gonna are gonna give up place to more like reasonable as well expectations and reasonable uh, settlement if I may express myself that way in regards to to the uh, to the wishes of both it's kind of like what you want and what that person wants and etc etc and uh, with this uh, particular combination because the love is going to be there all right there won't be any dominions in, in, in tyranny in in all that and it's more like these two people are going to face each other with understanding. Now, these cards does not necessarily mean, however, guys, that you're going to end up in a relationship throughout this week if you are single, all right? Because uh, the, the two of cups in the... Um, King of uh, Wands does implicate some sort of a, a working out as well, okay? But through those workouts of a, a certain interaction in between you and a person that you are interested in, which definitely they're going to be interested in you as well, um, <clears throat> the more and more stable, you know, the environment around you too is going to, uh, is going to become. So it's more like sorting out or rather laying down a, a foundation uh, for you both to jump into one another. And... Uh, also, there could be an exterior circumstances that, that does not influence you, which has to be uh, overcome before you actually be together, let's say. But the initiation here, the, the, the new goal, or rather like the new circumstances which are promising your dream come true are to happen in this week. And the last card that we do have it is the Four of Cups, which is uh, the Guidance. And uh, this is the card that made me speak about a that you do already have, okay? What's, uh, what can make you happy and you don't have to look very far. 
Now, <clears throat> guidance wise, as this follow up, the Four of Cups here urges you to indulge with your emotions and to uncover once again your emotions. I mean, there could be a reason why you are with, uh, let's say, your husband, all right? Why even you don't have that initial love when you when you start dating with each other that is just for example or there is a reason why you are sitting in this career all right it is just what the card here asks you is to uh, be objective and rather analyze what you experience and what you feel and make an accurate assessment uh, assessment about it and on top of that the card here points that there is a way how you can regain back this either attraction uh, eager to do your job or for example all right or just to to uh, amplify or to provoke a love to flow once again into your existing relationship the accompanied card is going to be here the um the emperor the formation it is a passive enemies once again and uh, it's just what these cards here now are pointing is that it, it, this the whole thing is very structured and there are way too many rules all right it's just these too many rules which you had in between one another if we're talking about relationship or uh, a career-wise too many promises for example or too many restrictions it is exactly what uh, what ruins the thing and so you need to lose the situation a little bit open it for for surprises uh, let's say and the most out of it is that you have to basically accept the person for what the person is if we're talking about uh, love here but definitely Libra it seems that this week is going to be the week guys especially if you are desperate for having someone to love or someone to love you as well or you are seeking for peace into your career as well well these new circumstances appearing up and these new circumstances could be as well some sort of a wake-up call all right let's say that you know you haven't seen your ex for a, a pretty damn long time all right now you see them and you realize that damn i have a thing for them still right so it's, it could be as well that although uh it's uh it's highly unlikely but yet it still can be that so be open for any kind of new circumstances that comes up which are actually giving you uh, a new vision upon uh, your situation so that being said, Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 8th to July 14th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.